How we doing everyone? It's Living to Learn. Thank you for uh, tuning into this video. Once again, I'd like to start off by just saying thank you. Uh, thank you to those of you who have subscribed. Thank you for those of you who share, who like, who comment uh, on my videos. Thank you to those of you who have uh, donated financially. That's always very, uh, very appreciative. I appreciate that very much. Uh, but, you know, more than anything, just the support in any way. Like I said, I've said this many times, financial support is not, um, it's very important. But you know what? Any type of, any support I'm getting for this channel, I just, uh, you know, I'm grateful for it. You know, because I've said this before, you know, plenty of times. I mean, if I was just on here talking, nobody was listening. Then, uh, you know, what am I really doing it for? Right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I like myself. I don't like myself that much. I don't want to just sit around and watch and hear myself talk. Uh, so thank you for watching. And, um, you know, we're, we're in, uh, again, I, I, it's a, a new year, right? We're, we're almost at the end of January. You know, we're almost done with that first month of 2023. And, you know, just like I kind of figured it would, it's gone by, gone by really fast. And, you know, that just goes to show that the rest of the year will probably fly by just like last year, right? And it got me thinking about just a couple of a couple of things, right? Number one, the fact that it's been a, about a year, you know, since I started recording these videos. My first video, I believe, was uh, somewhere in the end of January of 20, uh, 2022. And, you know, I just uh, wanted to do something different. And wanted to step out, put myself out there a little bit, so I did it. And here I am, and you know, here we are. And um, but I just started thinking, you know, about time and just how quickly things go by, and um, really had me thinking about, you know, how how am I prioritizing the time that I have? You know, I talk a lot about here. I talk a lot uh, on this video about, um, you know, I, I come from a perspective of wanting to help others based on things that I've learned myself. Right, things that have been helpful to me. Um, I've I've received you know bits of advice. I've read things. I've learned things. Um, I, I've become aware of things, and maybe um, I've kind of been awakened to, to certain things that have been helpful. But I was really thinking about this the other day. You know, um, I had actually had quite I had some time to kill in between my sales appointments. Right, so you know, I'm in outside sales. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a road warrior. We're road warriors, as they call us. Basically, I mean, we drive a lot. And, you know, from time to time, I'll have a cancellation or something. For whatever reason, I'll have a, a pretty big, you know, gap uh, between appointments, you know, sometimes two, three hours. And it doesn't always make sense for me to drive home. You know, I live in Southern California. The traffic's crazy. And sometimes, depending on what part of town I need to be in, it's better that I just kind of find a place to go and, and and wait it out. And so, I mean, there's several things that I could do uh, that would be helpful uh, during that time. So I just want to share with you a couple of things that I that I do during those moments when I have time to kill in between my appointments. But I want to talk a little bit more about just the overall idea of of, of time management. And again, I'm I'm not an expert in that area at all. I feel like that's something that I'll I will always need to improve on. Uh, maybe you disagree. Maybe you think that there's a certain way to do things and that if, if you can pick that up, you'll uh, you'll become a, an excellent manager of your time. I don't I, I don't doubt that there's people that manage their time much better than I do. So, you know, I'm not here to maybe I just maybe there's just things I don't understand yet. But in my attempts to 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 take hold of my time and manage it as wisely as possible, uh, let me just kind of give you an insight into, you know, what happens on those days. Right. So. Let's say I have a day where I have an appointment and let's say it's a one o'clock appointment. Let's say they cancel when I get there or there's a cancellation or something goes wrong or, you know, there was a misunderstanding because a lot of times I'll show up to customers' homes and they're expecting something totally different than what I'm coming with, right? Maybe they got the companies confused or they just didn't understand things clearly as far as what, what we offer and so, you know, sometimes there's a cancellation or whatnot. So let's say I have a one o'clock and for whatever reason... Um, my next appointment is not going to be till five and, you know, my one o'clock doesn't show and I've got about four hours to kill. Right. And let's say it's one of those, you know, it's one of those days where I'm far from home and, you know, my next appointment's far from home and it doesn't make sense for me to drive all the way back home. So what do I do? Well, you know, first thing I do is I go find a place to, 
you know, just where I can, you know, kind of have some peace and quiet because I like to do a couple of things uh, in those moments. So one of the one of the one of the things that I'm always trying to do or that I'm, you know, I'm trying to get better at making sure like that I'm that I'm on top of it is when I go out, when I'm driving, um, I'm trying to listen to something that's going to be uh, uplifting. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge hip hop fan. I love I love hip hop. Um, more specifically, 90s hip hop, right? Late 80s. Um, you know, some of the early 2000s stuff. I'm, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little too old for the new stuff that's out now. It's, it's not really, uh, doesn't really. Um, I don't really, not, not that I don't care for it. It's just, you know, they, they're not making music for ears like mine these days. Okay, I'll just put it that way, uh, as far as the hip hop genre goes. But anyway, I like to listen to music. But what I've been trying to get better at is. And not that listening to music's bad. I mean, sometimes it's, it's you know, it's good. You know, it kind of gets me, you know, might give me that extra jolt, you know, just to kind of get me pumped up a little bit. Maybe I'm a little bit, you know, maybe I'm low on energy and I need to just get, I need to get into a good mode because if you don't have a lot of energy and you go into someone's home, they're going to feel that right away, right? And it's not a matter of overdoing it or just being, you know, ridiculous, jumping off the walls, but, you know, you got to have a little bit of life in you uh, because people are going to, you know, that, that they're going to take notice of that. And if you don't, they're going to take notice of that as well. And they might, that might reflect on your, on your product. That might reflect on their, uh, the way they see you in their home and, and what you're there to do. So, so sometimes I, I'll put some, you know, I'll put some music on and I do listen to music, but what I've been trying to do most of all is I've been trying to listen to uplifting things, right? So I'll listen to different like motivational talks, um, or I'll listen to, you know, I'll listen to something on, on YouTube where it's just kind of like, you know, they have these channels where they just kind of uh, edit these clips from like different motivational speakers and they're just like making statements and they kind of tie everything in together. Or I'll listen to an audiobook. you know, something that's going to that's, you know, that's going to be teaching me something. And one of the things that I've really I've come to kind of rely on and trust in is that when I have like an audio book on when I'm driving I'm trusting that that information is being stored in my subconscious mind. I'm trusting that even though I can't fully concentrate on every single word that's being said, you know, obviously I need to keep my I need to keep my eyes on the road, right? Like I can't get too into the book and forget that I'm on the 405 freeway, right? I, I gotta, you know, I gotta pay attention and and you know sometimes I kind of drift off, you know, my my eyes, you know, kind of they, you know, I'm, I'm focused on the road, fo focused on looking out ahead of me. Uh, looking out ahead of myself, right? Uh, shout out to FedEx. You know, they, they trained me as a driver when I used to work there and they taught us to, you know, to scan the road. They taught us to look ahead and, 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 and pay attention. And so I get into that mode when I'm driving. So sometimes I'm not actually hearing or really focusing on the words that are being said, but I trust that those things are being uh, stored in my subconscious mind. And, and why do I say that? I say that because it's helpful whether, I, whether I'm fully engaged or, or I'm driving and I can't really pay attention. Now, if I'm, if I'm sitting, if I'm parked somewhere, it's a little bit easier, right? So, so when times like that, what I'll do is I'll, I will sit there and I will listen to either a speech or I'll listen to, um, you know, a, an audio book. Uh, I, I might even listen to a sermon, right? Um, I have some friends that are, you know, um, that are that are ministers and they and they they preach. And and I, I draw from that as well, right? Um, I draw that that from I draw wisdom from that as well, right? They might say something that makes me think, and so just really anything, anything that's gonna that's going to um, that's gonna uplift me, okay? And then the second thing I'll do if I'm not listening to something, I'm gonna be reading something, right? So I got I have a couple of books that I that I've been taking with me lately. And, you know, I try to get some reading in if I have time to kill. If I have some downtime in between appointments, I try to get some reading in. Okay. But third, and definitely, it, and I would say last and definitely not least on the list, is uh, I'll practice my, my presentation. Right. So I have, a, I have a, an iPad where, with some slides on it that I use during my in-home visits. And so during that downtime... If I have, you know, if I have hours to kill, that's that's really when I get into practicing my my presentation, practicing my my game plan. Right. Like as they call it at work, I run the play. Right. I'm going to go and I'm going to run the play because the idea um, the idea is that 
I become so familiar with with my work. I become so familiar with, um, you know, my pitch. I become so familiar with these slides and the questions that I that I attach to them, that it just becomes like second nature, right? Because from there, I'll be able to kind of go off in, in different a bunch of different ways with it. You see, when you go into someone's home, it, it, people are different, right? People are different. I mean, you have to be able to adjust uh, if you're going to be a successful. Uh, you know, in-person salesman, um, in-person saleswoman, or in- in-person salesperson, you've got to be able to adjust, and you've got to be able to pivot, and you've got to be able to um, tailor what you're doing to whoever's in front of you, okay? And that's one of the most difficult things to learn how to do, so that's why it's important for me to practice, right? Even when I'm at home and I have some time to kill, right? Sometimes I have you know, late appointments and, and I've got some downtime in the morning, you know, I'll go sit at my table and I'll, you know, take out my iPad and I'll start going through each slide and I'll, I'll pretend that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pitching to someone, right. That I'm trying to sell them and, and trying to, uh, you know, get them to realize that what I have is the solution to their problem. So those are three things that I do, um, that help me manage my time. And again, this is just during, you know, when I'm at work, Right. Which is out on the road, um, you know, and, and sometimes I don't have time. Sometimes I'm one after another. Right. You know, especially when I sell, when I sell that, you know, that I'm going to be I'm going to be there for a while. Right. I've got to drop an agreement. I've got to take pictures. I've got all kinds of things I got to do before I can leave. Right. And I don't mind spending that time because, you know, there's nothing like getting a sale. Right? There's nothing like getting a W, uh, a win. Right. And that feels great. And so. Uh, yeah, so that's you know that's when I have time to kill. But I was I I started thinking like, okay, you know it, it's I, I'm I'm a little bit better at it when I'm out on the road. I'm a little bit better at it when I'm, you know, the only thing I have to manage is the time between appointments. But what about what about just my day to day? Like what about on my day off? My right? my day off, and I've got time to myself. What what am I doing? What am I doing with that time? You know, what am I doing when I get home? You know, when I have my family time. You know, how do I balance the the family time and me time? Because I don't care how, you know, I don't want to say I don't care. I do care. Um, In my opinion, let me let me let me start that over again. In, In my opinion. And this is just me. You don't have to agree with me. I think we all need to have some some me time. Now, if you have a family and, you know, you're in a serious relationship, right? You have a significant other and or and, or you have a significant other and you have kids or maybe you're a single parent and you have kids. Me time is it cannot I don't think should be the majority. That's not what I'm. I'm so let me clarify here. I'm not saying me time is is priority. Like for me, it, it definitely isn't. Um, or at least I, I I hope it's not. Right. My my wife and kids are going to be the judge of that. That's I got to be honest. You know, I can say what I think, but at the end of the day, they're going to tell the story. You know, but I don't think I think it's wise to to prioritize that family time more than more than me time. With that being said, I think that we all do still need some time to ourselves, you know, from time to time. Now, what I'm getting at is this, you know, I have to somehow balance and and, and look for ways to to spend my time wisely, to manage that time wisely, right? Because look how quickly time flies. You know, look how quickly it goes by. I mean... One of my one of my best friends, you know, one of my good friends, and um, who I haven't seen him in, it's been a while. We need to we need to reconnect. But you know, social media. The good thing about social media is, one of the good things about it is that you get to you know keep in contact with people that you don't see regularly. And so I, I get to watch his kids grow up. And you know, recently his uh, his oldest son turned you know twenty one and. He's got a, you know, he's a, he's a, you know, grown young man. He's a, a, you know, he's a hard worker. You know, he's living an adult life. And I just thought like, man, I remember when, 
You know, I, I remember riding with my buddy in his uh, in his SUV and his son, little boy was in the back seat. You know, in the in the in the uh, in the car seat, and you know, it's just like wow, like you know, you you just don't you don't realize how quickly things move until you look back and you realize how fast it's gone. And so I, I don't know, that just it, it hit me. You know, I started thinking like, how am I managing my time, and what what can I what can I do to improve? Um, will it slow things down at all? I mean, I know that sounds kind of dumb, kind of, you know, maybe kind of naive. We can't slow down time. But I wonder if if I manage my time a certain way, would it maybe not feel like it went by as fast? I, I don't know. I don't know. But one thing I'll say about time management, and this is something that I'm, I'm going to take with me into 2023. And if you have any advice, if you have anything that you want to add, please comment. OK, I'm always looking for for input. I'm always looking for feedback. Please, please write something if you have something to say, okay? If you don't agree with something that I say, let me know in the comments. I'm not here to, you know, I, I don't, you know, let me know. But what, that's one of the things that I want to focus on. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, I think I need to just get better at this because if it is going to go by that quick, if it is going to go by that fast, I need to do everything that I can to ensure that I don't have any regrets about time that was misspent, right? And if you were to ask me if I if I do, a um, little bit, a little bit. There there are some things that I look back and I, I it, more than a cringe. It's kind of like a a punch in the gut where I just wish. I wish I would have uh, appreciated it a little bit more, or I wish I would have slowed down a little, or I wish I would have just stayed stayed there a little bit longer, you know. And that's not something that I want to have, you know. I want to know that I did the most with what I had. Now, am I going to be perfect? You know, are there going to be days, off days? There are off days, um, but you know, it's just something that I thought about, and so I don't know. Any suggestions? Any tips? Any advice on on time management? Things that have helped you? Things that have helped you capture the moment a little bit more? The one thing I will say is this: before I let you go, one thing I will say is this: it is important. This I believe with all my heart that it's important to take every day as its own. Like take it day by day, and what I mean by that is every single day is its own little square, its own little box. There's no going back out of it and there's no going forward out of it. You're just there. So in, enjoy that place, enjoy that space, enjoy where you're at at that moment. And that's something that I'm gonna start putting into practice that, that, uh, this year. I wanna get better at that. And so anyway, I just wanna share that with you all. Uh, thank you once again for watching and again, feedback, uh, constructive criticism, suggestions, ideas for future videos. Let me know. Comment. Tell me. All right. Thanks again.